Hey, Tourpreneurs, it's Mitch Bach. And just a quick note before we begin today's episode, Tourpreneur is currently sponsored by Google. We're thankful for their support of our community, and we are offering with them a completely free course helping you unlock the power and potential of Google's Things to Do program, which is specifically helping tour operators add their tours to Google in new ways that gives you new exposure and more direct bookings. To learn more, go to tourpreneur.com slash Google. And as always, show notes, more resources, links to our newsletter, our business coaching community, and so much more are available on tourpreneur.com. Now to the episode. Just about every operator who I come across has had a horror story about working with a marketing agency. This has left them with a bitter taste in their mouth and wary of trusting another to do the job that they want them to do. Now, believe me, as an agency owner myself, this makes my job so much harder. But as an agency owner, a lot of this bad experience comes down to how that agency educates its customers and clearly manages expectations. In some instances, it also comes down to out-and-out lying on the agency's part. So many agencies out there will offer guarantees and promises they simply can't keep because it's not possible for them to do so. If agencies could guarantee number one on Google rankings or 10 times the increase in bookings, then we would all be doing it. But there are so many nuances that make these promises impossible. In this episode of Tourpreneur, I want to debunk three myths about working with a marketing agency and tell you some of the home truths, some of which you may find surprising. Now, some of you may be wondering why I am doing this episode, because being the owner of a tourism marketing agency myself, as someone who has worked in this industry for over 26 years, you may think that this is business suicide. Personally, I think that what I'm about to disclose needs to be said. There are often very little open discussions about using marketing agencies, and many tour operators and suppliers are regularly misled about what they can expect when working with an agency. So with this episode, I want to cut through the bullshit and offer my own perspective of the situation. So let's start with myth one. No agency can give you an ROI at the beginning of the journey. Now quite often, an operator will ask, if I am to invest in your agency, what type of return on investment can I expect? Now I understand why this would be asked, and you want to make sure that your hard-earned cash is going to be spent in the right areas, but determining an ROI at the proposal stage is simply impossible. Why? Well, at this stage, an agency is yet to research your business, your demographics, your competition, how good your website is, look at the price of your tours, or even if there is a market for your experience. There are too many facets to consider that make up the potential of the ROI. To determine this without months of data and testing of all your marketing efforts and having it under their belts, any mention of a return of investment at the beginning stage is pointless. All an agency can do is give you a general figure that is either industry average or based on a similar business they may have worked with in the past. But it's still not accurate to your specific business without the necessary data as we as an agency need to conduct. As long as that agency communicates this to you clearly, then all expectations will be met. For myth two, don't expect immediate results. Now, I have been running an agency for a long time, and I can confidently say that some operators will get a little bit twitchy around month three or four when uh, in a working relationship with an agency because they don't really see much traction in terms of rankings or bookings or even lead generation. Again, I can get this as you want to make sure you're getting that return of investment, but I can confidently say that looking for any of this within the first few, few months is not going to happen for most cases. Reason being, is when an agency starts working with the operator, the first few months should be reserved for conducting extensive research and development of your business and creating the marketing strategies and materials required to promote your business. Things like keyword research, competitor analysis, improving your website customer journey, writing all the content, creating the videos and all the materials required for a campaign that they help you plan and execute. 
All this takes time and you need to give an agency the time to do this as it will make your campaigns more successful in the long run. There is also a test and measure stage for any marketing to see how effective those marketing ideas can be. An agency should communicate this with you at the very beginning, so you're not left wondering why after a few months you don't see much traction. A lot of marketing efforts are long term. SEO, for example, can take months and years to take hold. If you find only after a few weeks that you are suddenly on page one in Google, for example, then I can pretty much guarantee that they probably have used some sort of black hat SEO method that will only damage your business in the long run. To make marketing effective and give you the best possible chance of generating that return on investment that you all crave, then you must give it time. Yes, paid ads uh, can help you gain traction very quickly, but even these need to be properly thought out and researched to give you the best outcome possible. Now on to myth three, and the biggest one of them all. No agency can guarantee you bookings. I have seen some other agencies guarantee 10x on your investment, and this is true, even offer COVID-proof marketing during the pandemic. This is nothing but a sales tactic to play on your hopes and dreams. These tactics are created to focus on vulnerable business owners who are desperate to generate revenue and profit because they are more likely already in a bad place financially and want to grasp at anything that can help make sure that their business survives. Guaranteed bookings is simply another sales tactic to draw you in, but no agency can guarantee bookings. But you may be wondering why. Well, a marketing agency has no control over your sales teams, which booking system you may use, or how well you run and manage your own tours. In some instances, a marketing agency has little to do with the purchase journey of the website. Even your marketing budget plays a part. But even with all this, agencies do get flack when things go wrong and no bookings come in. A marketing agency's job is to help promote your business to the right audience, providing your company with more sales opportunities. Agencies like mine are there to provide you with qualified traffic and leads, not sales. As a byproduct of this traffic and leads, yes, you will, of course, gain sales and bookings from it, which is fantastic, but that is ultimately up to your own sales processes. A marketing agency can and should help you create processes and materials to make your sales process better, but ultimately it is down to how you interact yourself with your customers. There are many reasons why a visitor to your website might not convert. The booking platform may be too slow or clunky, or it may not even work properly on mobile. You can't expect to get many bookings if it is hard for your customers to buy from you. Reviews also play a huge factor. We have had businesses approach us looking to, for help to increase their bookings, but the reviews are simply so bad that no one would consider buying from them no matter how much money we spent. What they really need is a brand reputation management strategy and a business coach to help them improve their customer service. A digital marketing agency can do its best with providing SEO and PPC work on a company like this, but is unlikely to become truly successful without high quality reviews. This is just the industry we are in. What an agency should guarantee is qualified traffic and leads. An agency should provide you with as many targeted leads as your budget allows, giving you more opportunities to close the sales. Think about how we used to market our business 10 to 15 years ago. Some of you may still be doing this doing a huge flyer drop at key locations in the hope that someone passing by is interested in your product and that's exactly what they want in that moment. You would be lucky to maybe get one new customer in every 100, maybe even every 1,000. Everyone did it as it was the only viable option available to us other than expensive press ads. This principle is no different than promoting yourself online. The main difference is that you can now be extremely targeted so that more of the right people see you at the right time. However, these are only drivers for leads as you will still need to close the sale after you have seen your flyer, ad or blog, and that is ultimately down to you. It is an agency's job to provide you with as many of these opportunities as possible so you have more opportunities to make the sale. Now, no one is perfect, not even me or my agency, and sometimes no, we do get things wrong and things will not go according to plan. But if you are thinking about working with a marketing agency, Please do not fall for these sales tactics as they are there to do nothing more than play on your hopes and dreams and ultimately they're there just to take your money. Make sure they are clearly communicating what you can and should expect 
when working together. Ask them about what research they will do and how long it will take before that initial campaign is even launched. If they start offering guarantees or making promises they simply can't keep, then stay well clear as it will always end in tears. Thank you.